What is up, y'all? You know what channel you're watching. I'm Patrick. What's cracking? This is my first video of 2020. I planned on it being a little different, but things never go how you plan. So I'm going to kind of turn this into a shout out video because I've been uh, meeting so many new people on YouTube. I've got so many old school friends on YouTube and I kind of want to just shout out a bunch of people. Uh, I had planned on my first video of 2020 being uh, a video where I, I demo some painting techniques and whatnot, but I've been working six days a week, and I'm, when I'm at work, I'm just jamming, 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 and I tore my fucking shoulder up, so I'm semi-laid up, and I just wanted to do something... Because I haven't posted yet this year and we're already two, three months in. And, uh, yeah, I've met a lot of new people. And I have so much respect for the guys who have, have been with me from the start. That I'm going to do some shout outs and I got to hit those guys first. Uh, first and foremost... If you've never heard of him, check him out. He's six pinned on YouTube. Uh, he's an Indiana moto vlogger. He does two channels. Uh, his six pin channel is mostly bike stuff, you know, being on the road, moto vlogging. But he also does a lot of live stream gaming. And that channel is WTFO Gaming. You know, if you're into the live stream gaming, go check him out. He's fucking hilarious. Uh, one of the guys I, I've known since I got on YouTube. Him, his brother, Road King Jonesy. If you're not hip to him, check him out. Super, super, super cool guys. <coughs> uh, his brother... Ro King Jonesy also has a second channel called Jammin' with Jonesy. And if you're into music, specifically guitars, everything guitar, check him out. Super, super cool guy. My very, 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 very first subscriber. I had no content at all. He subscribed to me. That That's how cool these guys are. They're like next level fucking cool. Uh, another cat I want to shout out, one of my regular guys, MLC Rider. He's been real quiet this year. He's had a rough year. If you're not hip to him, check him out. Uh, another guy is, uh, Hallows Gate. He, he has got a really fucked up sense of humor, but he's a cool guy. He's got good content. Check him out. Uh, another cat that I've been checking out since I got on YouTube is Sensi Moto. He's a good guy. Uh, been through some shit. If you check out his channel, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. <coughs> but these new cats, you know, if you've been with my channel, I appreciate you. If you started on my channel and left, Hey, I dig it. Whatever. I'm a big boy. I can take it. But been talking to these other cats. Uh, and they've, they've recently came on the channel. And I want to give some shout outs to the regular guys that watch me. If you're not hip to any of these guys, check them out. They do cool shit. Uh, first and foremost, Tampa Boys Customs. They build wacky shit, you know, they're into fabricating, welding, I love that shit. They're into small engines, you know, just just making cool ass shit. Uh, a bunch of their friends 
have recently subscribed to me and I've subscribed to them been on live streams super super cool guys but he he's first and foremost Tampa Boys Customs and I'm just gonna go down the list of guys that I've met through him and you can check them all out uh, <coughs> Frogger's Garage. He does cool shit. Uh, go karts or go or gone fishing. Check him out. Tampa Thug Eight Thirteen. They do some wild street shit. You know, if you if you're into that, you know, guns and whatnot. They're your channel. I love guns. You know, I ain't judging. I love that shit. Boneyard Garage. This guy does some amazing rebuilds. Check him out. Roland Keith. He is not from that crowd, but he is a guy I just got hip to. Uh, cool guy. Great, great, great content. Check him out. Drifty Stevens. Just got hip to him. I personally have not even got into his videos yet. But he subbed to me. I subbed to him. You know, he's along the list of these cats that I, I just met. Super, super cool young guys. They're all on the grind. Check them out. Uh, I'll say all their names again before I close this video. I've been meeting so many new people. Uh, and it's just, it's just great, man. It's... I've been a little uninspired. Another cat, if you guys ain't hip to, check him out, is the Motorcycle Mick. Super, super cool guy. He is all about the Harley thing. If you're in the Harleys, he is ass deep in the Harley thing. Check him out. Uh, I'm looking at my list. Who am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting somebody. If you're on my channel and I did not mention your name, Bitch at me in the comments because I'm a dick like that and I'll be happy to shout you out. Anybody that subscribes to my channel, if I did not mention your name, please go ahead and and bitch me out. I'll be glad to give you a shout out. Uh, my channel personally, I am going to get back to the basics. I have kind of strayed from what my original YouTube channel was supposed to be. It's originally about people who are getting into motorcycling. You can't afford a, a new bike or a fast bike or even a cool bike and you're stuck with what you can afford. You can make anything into a cool bike. Anything. That has been my original message. <clears throat> Just because you can't afford the greatest bike on the planet you can take any bike and personalize it and make it cool you can do that by yourself you don't need a professional painter you don't need a professional mechanic if you're willing to go for it there's a lot you can do with basic 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 tools <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of Harbor Freight I have a shit ton of Harbor Freight tools in my shop uh, but yeah that's my thing I my last few videos, they're just like carbon copy, the same thing over and over and over. And that is not what I want to do. I kind of made my personal bike, the, the ZX-11, the focus of some videos. And I don't want to do that either. I want to make my project bikes the focus. <coughs> and I got some really cool shit as far as project bikes go. Uh... Like I said, I wanted this bit, my first video of 2020 to be something more than this, but I promise you, hey, if you if you sub me and you've been with me this long, I appreciate you. If you just came on, I appreciate you, and I do have good content coming. I know I I, I talk a lot, talk a lot, and. I promise you, it's coming. 
I have one project that is a ground up project. I'm making the frame, everything. The only thing I'm not making is the engine, the rims, and probably the front forks. Everything else I'm hand fabricating. <coughs> the Hurricane project bike, I'm probably going to put on hold for a minute just to, to move it aside because I need to get my bike on the lift and get my bike ready for the season. But I'm not going to be putting that on the channel because I just, I just don't, I just don't want my personal bike being, you know, video after video. You know, I just don't want to do that. I want to give, you know, new stuff, new stuff to where I can show you guys that you don't have to be a professional at everything to create something really really cool if you got the, the the balls to just go for it you can't paint you can't weld you know you're not necessarily mechanically inclined don't let that shit stop you you're you're on an entry-level bike and you're you're not happy with it because it ain't cool you can make that shit cool I promise you you can do it and that's going to be my goal in the upcoming year is to show it's not that hard you don't have to be a professional airbrush artist you don't have to be a professional painter you don't have to be even a professional bike builder or a welder or any of that shit to get into motorcycling on the bottom level on an old bike or a small bike or even an ugly bike, it could even be wrecked, or, or whatever, and you can turn that shit into something that you can be proud of. You know, that's, that's my goal, is to just say, hey, you know what, I'm not a pro at any of this either, I'm just willing to go for it. I do have a lot of experience with painting. I spray on a daily basis, it's what I do for a living. <clears throat> I've been on multiple bike builds with friends. I've helped many friends take take ugly, lame-ass bikes and turn them into something cool. That's how I know anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Uh, you just, you know, you just got to have a little confidence in yourself. And in this upcoming season... I'm going to show you all kinds of cool shit that you can do for yourself that cost next to nothing. And you can turn anything into something cool. That being said, I'm going to go through this list one more time. And you can check these guys out. Much respect to all these dudes. My new cats are Drifty Stevens. Roland Keith, Boneyard Garage, Tampa Thug 813, Go Karts Are Gone Fishing, Frogger's Garage, Tampa Boys Customs. I love that fucking guy. He does some cool shit. My OG dudes are MLC Rider. Check him out if you haven't. Six Pinned. Super, super, super cool guy. Motorcycle Mick. Super cool guy. Road King Jonesy. Super, super cool guy. Fat Boy R6. If you're not hip to him, check him out. Super cool guy. Good car stuff, good bike stuff. Uh, jamming with Jonesy cool channel super cool channel if you're into the guitar stuff it's everything guitar right down to the bones and this other cat Cincy Moto <laughs> he's a local Cincy boy young cat he ain't been posting much but he's a good guy check him out if I left you off the list please 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 hit me up and I would be glad to give you a shout out Till then, peace.